Good news from the Iowa Capitol this week and an urgent appeal. Iowa's babies need you. I'm Drew Zahn with The Family Leader and sitting here at my right is Chuck Hurley, Vice President and uh, one of our family policy advocates at the Capitol. The good news is a bill that would ban abortions in Iowa following detection of a baby's heartbeat passed through a subcommittee, two to one vote, had some great testimony there. But there comes the urgent appeal because the full committee is going to be hearing this same bill on Monday. Today is Friday and we're talking on Monday already. And uh, Senator Zahn, who's helping to, to uh, he's, the, he's the chairman of that committee, right. he is urging us to urge you to come. Come to the committee meeting. It's going to be at the Capitol building at 5 o'clock. We're urging you to get there by 4 o'clock. The greater support we have, the more our senators will see that there is a desire to see babies' lives saved. So we're urging you to come to the Capitol at 5 o'clock is the subcommittee, excuse me, is the committee meeting. Be there at 4 o'clock. Which room is it that they're supposed to be in? It's room 116, which is one level up from where you come in the building. Exactly. You come in through security downstairs, and then up one level is room 116, urging you to come. But that's not all that's going on at the Iowa Capitol. There's also a lot of things we're expecting to happen on the front of religious liberty. Chuck, why don't you update uh, our viewers on what's going on? Well, some great news is that Senator Dennis Guth, who's been working on a Religious Freedom Restoration Act for years, has a subcommittee next Monday, same day, in the same room at 1.30, and that subcommittee meeting is where uh, some of our friends will be testifying, I'll be testifying, and we hope that that bill will pass out of subcommittee and then pass the full committee by the end of the week. Next week is funnel week, so slam bam, Monday's a big day. Uh, one other religious liberty bill that did come out of subcommittee this past week is the Forum Act. It basically says that the First Amendment means what its founders, what our founders meant it to mean. That is that students on college campuses could exercise their free speech rights. As many of you know, many college campuses have speech codes. They limit the place where students can have free speech. And in Iowa, a notorious case, the University of Iowa kicked off a Christian group, kicked them off of campus, decertified them, says they cannot meet or use university facilities. Thankfully, a federal court has said, no, 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 you have to allow them to meet on campus, but this Forum Act would make that permanent and for all college campuses in Iowa. Uh, that bill did pass out of subcommittee. I testified at that, and it was a rather enjoyable but controversial bill. That will be coming out of full committee this next week, we anticipate, but we keep working on that. So this next week at the Iowa Capitol, a big week for religious liberty and a big week for life. That's why the urgent appeal is going out to you. We really do need your support. Iowa's babies, Iowa's mothers need your support next Monday at the Capitol.